so hello guys welcome back in my new video and today's video i will show you how your wi-fi network can be compromised even if your wi-fi network is secure then also attacker can gather your password he, he can steal your password okay of wi-fi network so don't worry i am not attacking anyone else wi-fi network or like that i have used set up a environment a safe environment which, which contains my own devices okay see here i have used a device which is my victim that particular bigger phone is my victim whose wi-fi network will be compromised and the, that particular smaller phone is the client who is connected to that particular network okay and for this particular demonstration i have used my laptop which is there okay and the os which i am using is kali so let's move on to our terminal first we will see the our first command which is iw config this command list all the networks okay so i am checking the mode currently it is in managed mode okay the interface okay so here you will see interface like lan 0 or like that okay e which is your wi-fi card and loop back okay we need LAN 0 for monitoring the Wi-Fi network. So we will start uh, our uh, monitor mode. Okay. So monitor mode allows your Wi-Fi card to capture packets. Okay. From air instead of just sending or receiving like a normal device. Okay. After running this, your interface becomes like LAN 0 mon. If I do IW config, then it will show you that it is in monitor mode. Now the mode is transferred to monitor. Okay that's all now we will do capture wi-fi networks okay so for that you need to write a command which is sudo aero dump ng wlan 0 mon mon okay this shows all wi-fi networks in a range okay so our particular victim is that particular get system which is my own phone which i showed you which is the victim okay so it is showing that the channel is six you need to focus on channel enc and ess id as well as the mac address which is the bss id okay so i am now i will do one thing i will note all that particular things in a file okay the bss id which is the mac address and that particular channel as well as the ESS ID, the name of that particular victim. Okay. Now I am after noting that we will use one command here to to see focus on that focus primarily particular network. Okay, on that particular MAC address. Okay. So we will give that particular command. Okay, you will see connected clients for demonstration here. No clients are there. I will use my own phone which will connect that particular Wi-Fi network. Okay, as currently you can see the BSS ID, station, PWR, rate, lost, frames, nodes, probes, all are empty. No one is connected to that particular Wi-Fi network, which means no one is connected to that particular hotspot. Okay. Now what I will do, I will use my own phone. Okay, I will go in Wi-Fi first and I will connect to that particular uh, ESS ID which is get system. As you can see, it is not there. So I will refresh it once I will turn off my Wi-Fi and again I will turn on. This is my client phone. Okay, so it is the get system particular Wi-Fi network. Okay, I will connect it to, I will connect to that and the BSS ID as well as the station PWR rate lost frames and all are listed here okay so i can see that someone is connected to that particular wi-fi network okay now after this particular demonstration after uh, next step is to capture that particular handshake file okay so for capturing the handshake file we will write a command sudo air dump dash ng dash w the name of that particular file where we i want to see my handshake file as okay so i have named it as wi-fi hack or you can use any other name like demo test like that okay c stands for channel here and the bss id targets your victim network and the interface is currently wlan 0 mon okay so this particular command is there which is used to capture the handshake file okay so what we will do we will hit enter here and you will see what happened next okay so let's see what will happen this is lan 0 uh, mon which is the interface currently 
and you can see that uh, the handshake file is not captured currently okay so what we will do we will force reconnection dauth attack okay so for dauth attack we will use sudo airplay ng dauth 0 the mac the mac address and lan 0 mon okay it will dauth every uh, particular device okay force connected client to disconnect and reconnect okay it will connect continuously dauth uh, send dauth packets to that particular network see in my client phone you will see that he is out of that particular network he is deauthed from that particular network he need to connect again so it if he will click on get system and then again he will go there then you can see that the uh, handshake file is captured as he is deauthored again he need to reconnect that from that particular network he reconnected and then the handshake file is there which is captured okay so we got that particular handshake file wpa handshake and that particular mac address okay so after our after attack is after our attack is done successfully we can see that the cap file is there okay which uh, contains the csv and kismet and other types of file now we will analyze that particular cap file if it contain that particular handshake four way handshake or not okay so we will use wireshark for doing this okay what is four way handshake have wpa or wpa2 network uses four step handshake to authenticate devices okay here we can check that four way handshake manually or we can use filters okay it ensures that the client and ap share the same password without sending the password over the air okay capturing this handshake allows attackers to attempt a dictionary attack offline to guess the password okay here i am checking the uh, a handshake file manually okay as you can see that Xiaomi communications and all are listed here okay so this shows that the particular handshake file is there the four-way handshake is there so we can verify that uh, capture by EA Paul okay if I hit enter there then you will see that the um, uh, filtered handshake file will be there okay which you can see the four-way handshake open the capture file we can see that particularly in uh, wireshark you can also use that if we hit enter then you can see the filtered four way handshake which is showing that it's good the ha the handshake which is captured which it contains the four way handshake okay the cap file which is captured it contains the four way handshake now our next step is to crack the password okay now that particular cap file is there first we will check it like iw config shows that it is in monitor mode after our interface is in monitor mode so what we need to do we need to convert it in manage mode as our task is done so convert it in manage mode by stopping the interface lan 0 mon if we again check then we can see the uh, interface is now in managed mode okay so for cracking the password here we will use one command which is air crack ng the name of that particular cap file with the word list okay so if you don't know about word list i have uh, the link is in description about kali linux word list you can see that particular video to understand how word lists work okay here i am using rocky.txt one of the popular word lists okay so pre will dictionary of common passwords okay i have used it and you can see the key is found here in this particular demonstration it is a common password but this is the particular way how attackers can gain credentials of your particular wi-fi network okay see the key found which is password here okay so this is the particular demonstration which i showed you and the whole working is done now let's go in our hotspot Wi-Fi hotspot we will how we can be secured in this particular era okay so it is set to WPA2 personal okay WPA2 is older vulnerable to offline dictionary attacks if handshake is captured I will prefer to set it to WPA3 WPA3 is new standard uses simultaneous authentication of equals okay SAE and I will also prefer you to set password longer than 12 digits which may which is mixed with uh, with uppercase lowercase and numbers as well as some uh, unique characters okay so this is important to do for being safe okay 
If you want to learn more about cyber security and ethical hacking, you can follow me on GitHub and Insta as usual. I have linked all the in description. Okay, all the links are in description. So in this particular demonstration of Wi-Fi ethical hacking or wireless network testing, I have not used an external Wi-Fi adapter. So how I have performed this particular attack? Comment it in YouTube comment section, okay, and let me know about this. So hopefully you learned many things from this video. Meet you next video. Till then, bye.